Dua pemilik toko piringan hitam, Josie Records di Dallas, negara bagian Texas, masih ingat saat penjualan mereka mulai lesu. Ini terjadi sekitar tahun 2000-an awal. The record stores were floundering. Uh, and this was peak digital download and Apple iTunes and stuff like that. So just the hardcore vinyl buyers were left buying at record stores. So there was few record stores left. There was a dwindling business model. Tapi belakangan musik dalam format fisik, terutama piringan hitam vinyl, melakukan comeback. For us, records have never gone out of style. Uh, we started collecting records in our teens, so that would have been in the 80s, and it just never left for us. Uh, but there are whole generations that grew up without vinyl. They grew up with just downloads. So there is a whole generation that didn't see that, uh, but are coming back to it now to see that uh, you get more of a tactile experience. Menurut Asosiasi Industri Rekaman Amerika Serikat, selama 2023, penjualan piringan hitam tumbuh 10% dibandingkan tahun sebelumnya. Menurut asosiasi yang sama, penjualan piringan hitam telah meningkat 17 tahun berturut-turut dan baru-baru ini menyalip penjualan CD. Bahkan saat ini penjualan vinyl mencakup sekitar 71% penjualan musik dalam format fisik. Album yang bisa dipegang dan dinikmati selayaknya buku fisik inilah yang menurut pemilik toko musik hilang dengan digitalisasi lagu. It's a physical thing that you can collect and there's a sort of collector gene in a lot of people. And so people do like to um, have something that they can display on their wall like a sort of library uh, which you can't really do with an MP3. Uh, and or uh, you know, downloads or anything like that. For me personally, I like having the physical thing. If it's um, an artist I really like, I like being able to see, um, you know, the liner notes, all the you know stuff that actually comes with the physical release. I also like supporting an artist if I really like them. Para penggemar vinyl menikmati musik secara tradisional, juga mirip membaca buku secara urut. It's just a nice ritual to actually put it on, listen through a whole record. I feel like nowadays. The process and ritual of listening through an album all the way through is kind of lost with streaming. You just put it on a playlist and shuffle. And the artist intended for it to be listened to as a sort of 20-odd piece, minute piece of music with the tracks in a specific order. So I always like to think, well, you wouldn't take a DVD and watch each chapter out of order. Penjualan piringan hitam juga tak lepas dari efek Taylor Swift. Karena bintang pop peraih Grammy tersebut juga selalu menerbitkan musiknya dalam bentuk vinyl dengan beragam fitur khusus yang digemari para Swifties. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.